something they don't understand. This is about young, old, tangata whenua, pakiha, workers, academics, everyone standing up and saying, this isn't right. But I just want to leave you with two concepts, okay? Just two. The first one is sovereignty. You elect the government to put in place laws that protect the people of New Zealand, and you need to trust the government, or trust that the government will do this. You put your faith in the government that they will do what is right for the people of New Zealand. Well, there is something called Investor State Dispute Settlement Clause. What that allows is a multinational organisation to sue the government if they do not like the laws the government passes. Let me give you an example. In Australia, the government legislated for plain packaging in tobacco. Philip Morris sued the Australian government. They took it to the Australian High Court. The Australian government won. They took it to the Australian Supreme Court, the highest court in the land. The Australian government won. But then Philip Morris invoked investor state dispute settlement tribunal clauses. This was three years ago and it is still going through mediation and it has cost the Australian government millions and millions of dollars. How can a multinational company sue a government when the government is doing what is right? That is wrong. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a fundamental erosion of sovereignty and democracy. We cannot allow that at all. In fact, what Australia has said is they will get rid of all investor state dispute settlement clauses in any free trade agreement they do. They're done with that. And that is exactly what New Zealand should be saying as well. The other thing I would like to talk about is transparency. Now, I'm a member of parliament. I'm supposed to know what goes on and then come back and report to you what is happening. I have absolutely no idea what is in this free trade agreement. Phil Goff, who is our trade spokesperson, has absolutely no idea. But you know what? The American senators know. The American negotiators have to brief the Senate. And yet Parliament, our Parliament, has not been briefed. And you know what the government says about this? Trust us, we know what we're doing. <laughs> trust us, we know what we're doing. You know, trust us. Why? Why would you trust the government? You have a look on the government's website about this. And they say, don't worry, we know what we're doing. Well, I'll tell you what, I bet the Australian guy said exactly the same thing. Democracy is about transparency. When we lose that transparency, when the people are denied the right to know what is going on, to know what affects their ability to live, then something is wrong. We're in the 21st century now. There are a whole lot of challenges that our country faces. It's not just companies now, it's countries that are seeking global competitive advantages. And ours is no different. But if we have our sovereignty undermined, and if we lose our transparency, then we lose our ability to have a say in this world. 
And we cannot let that happen. And this is something that is much cross political barriers. This is something where the Greens, where Labour, where the Maori Party, where Mana, where everyone must stand together. Because it is simply not right. And you know, every now and again, you've got to say, let's do what is right for the people of New Zealand. You've just got to do that. Because that is why we elect a government, and it doesn't matter what colour they are. And I'm astounded that some of these new national MPs, who no doubt will have rallies like this in their electorates, can go back and sit in that caucus and say, yes, sir, Mr Key, you are right. Because the people will have told them exactly the same message that you are telling me, that you are telling the rest of New Zealand. And my promise to you is I will go back to the Labour caucus and say, I have heard what the people of Napier have said, and you have said no to the TPPA. But you know what, I don't need to tell you this but I absolutely agree with you. Absolutely. So just remember those two things. If people ask you what's wrong with this, just say, it erodes our right as a government to make laws that help the people of New Zealand, and it erodes transparency because no one, except our negotiators and the minister, know what's going on. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is wrong. And that is why we must say no to the TPPA. And the sign that says yes to democracy, we are a democracy. Let's never, ever forget that. And the day the government stops listening to the people of New Zealand is the day the voters maybe have something to say about that. But for now, we've got to keep saying no way to the TPPA. Thank you very much.